Hello everyone, today let's solve repeated string match problem. Given two strings, A and B, return the minimum number of times you should repeat string A so that string B is a substring of it. If it is impossible for B to be a substring of A after repeating it, return negative 1. Uh, notice string A, B, C repeated zero times is empty string. Repeated one time is ABC, and repeated two times is ABC, ABC. So in this example, we return 3, because if we repeat A three times, we get ABCD, ABCD, and ABCD. We can find B, the substring of it. So how to solve this problem? Let's see some, is there some rule here? We can think about some cases. Uh, we call the first string P because it's a pattern. Uh, S is the string. Okay, so the problem asks us uh, how many times, what's the minimum times we multiply this P, then S is a substring of uh, the multiply, a uh, multiple of the P. And we call length 1 is p dot length, length 2 is s dot length. Some cases, if the p uh, is a, b, s is a, b, a, b, we can repeat p twice. Then the s dot length exactly equal to the uh, k, uh, maybe multiply k times, so kp. So in that case, um, s dot length module kp dot length uh, equal to zero. This is a special case. But the normal case is that p equal to a b, s equal to b a b a. We repeated the p three times, so a b a b a b. When we reach here, we find uh, we can find a substring. Uh, s is a substring of this past string. So this here we have five characters. Uh, we use five characters. So what, how many times it repeated? Actually, it's 5 divided 2 plus 1, right? Because this 5 cannot uh, divide this 2. Um, I mean, it cannot module it uh, equal to 0. So we uh, divide it uh, plus 1. In this example, we repeat uh, P three times. And uh, when we reach the very last character, we can find uh, a substring, which is equal to the S. So in that case, it's 6 uh, divided to equal to 3. So we repeated this P three times. In this example, when we reach here, we know we can find a substring, which is equal to S. So if we get here, how do we know how many times we repeat uh, P? Actually, it's uh, 5 divided to plus 1. So you can find the rule here. Um, because the problem is we don't know what is the maximum times we should uh, try when we repeat this P. Uh, what does that mean? We can certainly repeat P for 100 times and check whether S is a substring of it. But it's way too much. We don't need to repeat that much times. So uh, how many times should we know we should stop that's a problem. As you can see, how many times it should um, repeat is actually equal to um, is the length divide uh, length two divide length one plus one. Is this is the uh, n times it should repeat? Um, because we want to first let this p uh, reach the length of s but uh, it uh, sometimes may not be enough let's say this example we repeat this p twice we get a b a b it has the same length and p but it cannot uh, get the result we should repeat uh, one more time uh, it's in this example we just uh, um, repeat uh, Two, this is two, this is five, and uh, we should uh, actually repeat three times.
(uh) so as you can see at the most we just plus one so we should repeat the P N times this N equal to length two divide length one plus one that's enough okay and uh, we multiply length one on both sides so in the end the max length should just equal to length two plus length one that's the max length okay now we have the max length of this string right how do we check whether s is a substring of it we we use rolling hash why for every string we use a we give it a hash value so if we know this substring has the same hash value as this s we can say it can be equal actually we should check because sometimes have a hash a collision Mm, so the problem becomes how to get the hash value of a given string. That's simple. Just to say if a string is s, we said its hash value equal to s0 plus s1 times p plus s2 times p to, to, uh, to the power of p, uh, p to the power of 2 power of 2 and uh, s n minus 1 times p to the power of n minus 1 uh, but you know what does this, uh, it p means p can be a prime it's just like the buckets in the hash table or what is m m can be a very large number because you can see there are many, uh, many power and the times here. So it can be a very large number. It will exceed the in integer uh, or the long, the maximum, uh, length, uh, maximum number. So we should module it. So that's the reason. So for this example, we only have lower cases. So we have 26 possibilities. So we set it base OP to 31. And the module usually we use IE uh, 9 plus 7. So what, how should we uh, use rolling hash? In this example, you will see if we want to get a substring length of 3, we can calculate every time. This is S1. We get its hash value for the bcd is length 3 we calculate and use this formula again to get its hash value uh, the same for the cde but it's not mm, in uh, necessary what does that mean we already have the hash of this s1 when we calculate s2 we can just use the value we already have for the s1 we just add this e and minus this a because it's no longer in the substring we need. So that's the reason we want to use rolling hash. How to calculate it? Let's see. Let's see. Firstly, S1. We should calculate from A and AB, ABC. And ABC is the length of three we want. So for the hash A, we just get A, which is the ASCII code of A. And AB is just V times the A, P times hash A plus B. And it can be large, so we module M hash abc the same with p times this hash ab and plus c module m and that is p uh, to the power of 2 and uh, times a plus p times b plus c module m okay that's for the s1 so how about s2 s2 we already have s1 right so we just use s1 times p and uh, plus d and then we know this a is um, redundant. We should remove it. So what? How? Uh, how much should we uh, subtract? Subtract a times p to the power of three. Why? Because this is p to the power of two times a, and we multiply p again. So it is actually p to the power of three. So we we minus it. But uh, again, it can be very large. We should module m. And also, as this number will already module m, so it can be a smaller than 
this value modulo m. So we should plus m here in case it will turn to negative number. So we should um, plus this um, m, which is a modulo. So same for the hash s3. You know that s3 should be p times times hash s2 and plus this e and minus this b, right? So minus b. Okay, so in that case, we every time we should minus the same thing, just the p to the power 3. So we should uh, uh, save it as an extra long, long uh, integer. Okay, so that's it. We just turn this uh, to code. Mm, firstly, what we should use is the base, which is 31, because we only have 26 lowercase numbers. And uh, the module, we use e, uh, sorry, 1, uh, e9 plus 7. So just say to save, OK. And we want to get a length. Length 1 is, call it a. B A dot length. That's two B dot length. And what's next? We want to get uh, oh sorry, the max length should uh, equal to length one plus length B. And the long hash B will first equal to B char char at zero. The same for the hash A. Why should we use array here? Because uh, you will see we need uh, firstly uh, for the less than the uh, we wanted the length we should uh, accumulate uh, sorry just uh, plus it and uh, up times it and plus it and after we get a length we should uh, use the um, Actually, the reason we want to use array here because we want to sometimes repeat it, this i several times. So it will be simple if we uh, use an array here. So long then will be max length. First, the hash a will 0 will equal to the same a character uh, char at 0. Mm, and then for you should notice that I start from one because we already have zero. So I less than, first should be less than two, less two, nine plus plus. And uh, we should have a base power, start from base. Base power is just like this P to the power three in this example, because the length is three, okay? So here, first thing is that uh, we update hash b equal to hash b times base and uh, plus b uh, char at uh, i. It can be huge. So here we should uh, uh, module mode. The same for hash a should be i, right? Then it will be hash a uh, minus 1 times base and plus a char at uh, i. OK, it uh, can also be huge. So here we module mode. Update the base power equal to base power times base. Uh, it can also be huge. So we just uh, module mode. So here we can check it for the first time. Uh, actually, this can cannot be i, it should be i module length 1. Why? Because sometimes uh, the length 1 is less than less, length 2. So we just uh, repeat this a several times. So that's the reason we should use module here. OK. OK, so now let's check if hash a length 2 minus 1 equal to hash b. Uh, what should we return? We should check whether the length two module length one equal to zero. If equal to zero, uh, just like uh, these two example, this example here, if it's equal, uh, sorry, it's module equal to zero, we just uh, no, it should be 
less q uh, divided less one. Otherwise, we should have plus one, right? The length plus one. Um, plus one. Okay. If not the case, then I should start from length two. I less than max length. I plus plus. Here we just only need to update the hash a. The same hash a minus one to the times base and the plus uh, a char at uh, i. Uh, what should be here? Should also be module length one. It can be huge. So here we should module mode. Okay. And then, as I said before, we should uh, divide, uh, subtract, subtract the the extra a or extra b, uh, the character outside of this uh, range. So actually, should be hash a i minus base power times a char at uh, i minus less two, right? But the problem is that um, it can also be repeated several times, so it should module length one. And also it can be very huge, so this place should also module mode. And uh, as it can be larger than a hash a, I so we should plus n module. Okay. Okay, now if uh, hash a i module mode equal to hash b, then we retain it. So the length of current length 2 is no longer the length 2, it's the i plus 1. Uh, just like the example, we reach the character i and uh, the total characters we see uh, so far is i plus 1. So this here is... Uh, five right five character this is six characters this is five characters this is four characters so divide the length one or uh, plus one so if it's module length one equal to zero the same we just uh, i plus one uh, divide length one otherwise we should uh, mm, we should uh, plus one Return negative one if we cannot uh, get a result. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.